Everything that you love about the Lexus LC500 is now available in convertible form. Everything from the power, the elegance, the luxury, and just the flat out demeanor of this car and the style with this car. This is the ultimate Grand Touring convertible for $111,000. In this video, we're going to take a full detailed look at the exterior, hop inside, and take it for a test drive. I can't wait to show it to you. Let's get started. First of all, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nolan. I do full reviews like this every single week and a variety of other different videos. So if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe down below. But I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Now, as we look at the exterior of this LC500, it really looks like a concept car. It is so polarizing and so stand out like that it's just going to get so much attention. And up front, you've got this large Lexus grill that is classic with all these Lexus models. The triple beam LED headlights that are very compact, plus the LED daytime running light, the Lexus L, and these even give you cornering lamps to light up next to the vehicle at night, and they just, this car just looks so nice at night, especially with this liquid platinum paint, and it looks good in the day too. I'd love to know your thoughts on this polarizing design, but paired with these 21 inch wheels and huge six piston front brakes and four piston rear brakes. This car really does well fitting, filling out those wheel wells. What do you think? You even get 245 wide tires in front and 275 wide tires in the back. Plus, you'll notice on the side body, the door handles are completely flush. And I'll show you how those work in just a second. And dimensionally, this is 187 inches long. So it's not quite as long as some larger sedans or even mid-size sedans since we have the coupe here 75 and a half inches wide and it's got some really wide haunches in the back it's just a massive rear end and it's fitting with these led taillights that have the lexus themed design and they also look really neat and dimensional at night and it's actually a four tip exhaust but it's a little bit concealed back here which is kind of disappointing now let me show you how this drop top works. Lexus says it takes about 15 seconds to open. You got a couple switches inside that I'll show you in just a minute. You can roll those windows down, rolls the side or the back windows down too. Then just wait. It's pretty wicked watching this in the mirror and I sped this up a little bit, but now we're good to go. And if you wanna open this on the fly, you can open it while you're driving, but you have to be going under 31 miles an hour. Now let's close it. Boom, good to go. Then we roll the windows up. Now, quick look at the cargo area. This is not a power trunk. I was kind of surprised by that. Maybe because it's convertible, I don't know. But you actually have to use your hands to touch that dirty trunk to open it. And I was kind of expecting a power trunk on this over $100,000 car. But this trunk on the convertible is really, really small. You have a few tie downs in here. This is just a standard carry-on suitcase. You could fit a couple of those next to each other with just a little bit of space. I tried to fit this full-size suitcase in there and it did not fit. It was very close, but this is about three and a half cubic feet. If you want more space, you can get two more cubic feet on the regular LC500, which you can fit obviously quite a bit more stuff. This is big news. Lexus designed this so you can still fit a golf bag in here, even in this convertible. You've got to go long club side in first, but then check it out. It fits. Now here's Lexus's key fob, the same key fob we've been seeing. It feels durable, feels very solid. It looks nice and it's slim to fit into your pocket. No remote start with the key fob. I tried the three press lock like you get on some Toyotas and Lexuses, but not on this one. So you probably have to just do it through the uh, Connect app on your phone. But a smart key system with push button start is standard and the door handles are flush to the body. So you've got this sleek look all the way down. You'll see a little indent on this side. You can just press there, it'll pop out, and then you can open it like a normal door handle. And when you're done, just press it like that and boom, it locks. Now getting into this LC500 is a little bit easier than you would expect for those of you with mobility issues because we have the entry exit system to where the steering wheel and the seat can move 
to where your preferred memory setting is. Now let me give you a closer look at these seats. So we've got the circuit red interior and these seats just look fantastic. You even have some like a kind of a three dimensional pattern to them. You've got the stitching running up here. It just looks really, really nice. Perforated seats. These are heated and ventilated as well. And there's one other little bonus that I'll show you in a second, but the bolstering is good. You definitely sit down in it. It's really bucket shaped. You've got really big bolsters on your side, but it's not squeezing you to death either. Now a 10 way power seat is standard. Some models will give you an eight way power seat, oddly enough, but this has just your basic functions and two way lumbar support. I'd like to see a little bit more. But we have climate concierge with our package here. So you got upper body heating. You literally have a vent right here that can heat your neck or your upper back. And it's actually pretty cool. It's really powerful, but let's talk more. Now comfort wise with these seats, I've been really comfortable in here. Now I wish they had maybe a little bit more adjustment because of how expensive this is and because of the type of car it is like bolster adjustment, thigh extension, or maybe even four way lumbar, but we don't get those. But even without them, I'm still really comfortable. The climate concierge, like the heating right here at your upper body and your neck, that's pretty cool. And the ventilated seats in here are no joke. I mean, there's sometimes where I literally feel like my shirt is kind of flapping if I'm not sitting directly back up against it. It is pretty powerful and it cools you off very quickly. And the steering wheel is power tilt and telescoping as you saw with the memory settings. We've got three position memory settings for the driver so you can get it exactly where you want it. And to top it off, this steering wheel is also heated with our packaging. Now, for those of you that are tall, sitting where I'm comfortable at five foot nine, I've got enough room above my head. I'm gonna lower the seat down and it doesn't go down that much more. So I can't even quite put a fist above my head. You're gonna wanna check this out for yourself if you're tall. And then for the back seat, there is a lever back here to where you can easily kick that out of the way and it will just power slide forward. And there's enough space for a child to get in here, but this back seat is just pure torture. You do have Mark Levinson speaker right in the middle, and this isn't real leather in the back. This is actually new Lux, their synthetic leather. But I mean, just look at that. That's about how far back I've been sitting as well. And there is like zero leg space. So back seats, pretty much useless. Now, once we get to the interior, this is where things really start to get nice. I mean, every single material in here is just a nice soft touch. You've got leather, you've got real stitching, you've got nice accent pieces. I mean, even this entire center console is just covered with quality material and quality color too. I like this darker color, the stitching on here, where you rest your arm and your hand, everything is soft. It's unbelievable. It's just super nice. Even over on the door, you've got this soft textured pattern all the way it comes down here so you've kind of got this interior style working in just like you have the exterior style. This entire upper panel is soft as well if you want to rest your arm up there. Soft all the way down here and even this material isn't the cheap crappy plastic that you usually find. You'll find a little bit of storage down here so that's better than what you'd probably expect in a lot of cars like this. And the armrest is actually really good size so comfort's no problem. Good grab handle and both of those window switches are automatic one touch. And this steering wheel is very comfortable to hold on to. You've got a perforated section on each side. It's heated. You've actually got stitching in the middle of it as well. This is leather wrapped, comfortable to hang on to. You've got large metal paddle shifters. I think they might be magnesium, I can't remember. And even the buttons on the steering wheel are not cheap plastic. They're actually, they just feel nice. I mean, the quality inside of this LC500 is just fantastic. You'll also see on that stock, you've got automatic rain sensing windshield wipers. And then push button start right there. And it sounds really nice every time you start it up. And then you've got an optional head up display that we have here that shows your tachometer, your lanes, the gear you're in and your speed. And you can even take it completely away if you want to. Now this is the standard display. There's information that you can see right here in this little digital area there, but you can also move this ring and literally move this through driver assistance stuff, audio, any customizable settings you want, more trip computer information type of things, even a little bit of performance information, basic trip computer stuff, and then navigation or a compass. So this is a standard eight inch display. It's nothing flashy, but it gets the job done. And when you change drive modes or rev it, that tachometer looks pretty cool. So check this out. We're in normal mode. Now we're in sport, sport plus, and we'll go back to comfort and eco. So there you go. 
And to change that, first of all, you've got traction control and snow mode over there, stitching running across, and then you've got this right here we have sport sport plus normal custom comfort and eco and you press it in to go to custom and we'll go through the drive modes in the test drive you've even got a soft panel running across you've got a speaker up there a speaker on each side because we have the mark levinson audio system with 13 speakers in this convertible this 10.3 inch screen is standard. It's pretty sunken back and it is not a touch screen. I mean, it's too far away to be a touch screen and the glass actually comes out quite a ways. I'll show you how you actually use it in a second. But you've got Lexus's signature analog clock over there and you have the Apple, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. That's standard. Amazon Alexa as well. We can also back out and go to regular you know the regular screen and this is the same kind of system that we've been seeing from lexus for a while so it's nothing special nothing spectacular but one cool thing is the seats and the steering wheel all of that you can have it on like a an automatic mode so you can have it be favored to be more cold favored to be cooler things like that and even the headrest heating so this is a really cool feature if it's actually cold or you're cold you can literally get heat pumping out right at your neck and then as we pan out, this lower shelf has more soft, nice materials. And you'll see the passenger gets like a grab handle right there and a grab handle over there. I mean, even around the push button start, you've got leather stitching. We've got dual zone climate control. This system works really well. This is all very simple and easy to use. I like just the one straight line across. There's even a CD player down here. And then built in here, you've got a cup holder that you can close and it's big enough for most drinks, my bottle does fit in there, but just barely, and it takes up some space. So cup holder design isn't the best in here. I'm not too sure what a better option would be, but you can move this armrest back. You can flip this armrest up. So you've got some decent storage. You've got a couple USB ports and a 12 volt power outlet and an auxiliary plug in there. And you can use this as a cup holder as well. This is also fairly tight little separate storage area you can leave it open or you can close it as well and this is where your convertible controls are so your window you can roll the back windows up and down or all the windows up and down and then actually move the top and if you didn't see me open it up rewind and check that out and then Lexus's system goes all off of this touchpad. This gives you feedback. It can give you noise as well when you scroll over some things. But I think the best part about this is the shortcuts up here. So you've got map, menu, back button, seeking, tuning, volume and power, plus a shortcut to radio and media. And it's just in a good location for your arm. It doesn't get in the way of your shifter. And it's just easy to operate, but it does definitely take some time and it's not the most intuitive. Lexus even gives you a push button opening uh, glove box that is softly lined and it's lockable. You get an automatic dimming rear view mirror up here and obviously you've got your drop top. The drop top controls are not up there, they're down below like I showed you, but these are touch sensitive LED lights right up overhead. And one little complaint is that the visor is small, which it kind of has to be, but it doesn't extend or have a sliding piece. So you're a little bit screwed if the sun is on your side. And then behind us, we've got this screen right here that you can kind of fold back. You can lift it up all manually pretty easily right behind you. And at night, this LC500 has a really nice, gentle, white ambient light glow that fills the cabin. And when you actually shift into drive, it dims, but otherwise it looks pretty nice even though it's not adjustable. Now moving under the hood of this LC500, this is my favorite part of this car and for good reason. Standard is this five liter naturally aspirated V8 that's direct and port injected. Can you talk about reliability here and power? This is 471 horsepower and 398 pound feet of torque paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission and a limited slip differentials available in the back. Here's one little bummer. Zero to 60 is 4.6 seconds on a convertible. Definitely not great, but fast enough and fun enough. The non-convertible is 4.4 seconds. So this is about a 4,500 pound car. So this is not a lightweight. This is a big, beefy, grand touring type of car. And miles per gallon, if you're interested, 15 in the city and 25 on the highway. And you'll get just one tick more with the non-convertible model.
Now before we get going on this test drive of this LC500, you probably wouldn't expect it in a car like this, but one reason it's a great Grand Touring is because it has Lexus Safety System Plus standard, no matter what. It's not an upgrade, it comes on the car standard. That's the pre-collision system. You get full speed radar cruise control. You have a lane keeping system with steering assist. It's not a lane centering like some of the other Lexuses, but it will keep you in your lane. Automatic high beams as well. So that's just one other reason why I think this is a great Grand Touring car. But let's get into the test drive. All right, we are now behind the wheel and we're gonna go through the different drive modes. I want you to get a good point of view angle and maybe we'll drop the top and just see what it's like to drive with the top down too with the camera. But I'll go through the drive modes, like I said, talk about ride comfort, acceleration, give you the sounds of this car because that is my favorite part. It just sounds fantastic. And first impressions, first of all, I have driven one of these before. Uh, it was a, I think it was a 2019 model, a few years ago, a couple years ago, and I loved every second of it. And this is exactly the same. Paddle shifters are awesome. The drive modes are awesome. It's actually fairly comfortable, all things considered, for how, you know, what type of vehicle it is. I mean, this is definitely a grand touring type of car. It's It's got its muscle, it's got its speed, but it's also comfortable and serene at times. And that was just partial throttle. And you still get some sounds, obviously. I'm gonna put it in Sport Plus. to not break traction but you got the sound and the brakes on here are also excellent I mean you've got speed and you've got braking power you've got six piston brakes in the front four piston in the back sport plus mode right now going 35 oh my goodness you can just hear it shoot out that exhaust it just sounds amazing I'm gonna manually shift here for a bit and it really likes to downshift. We're in third gear. I'm gonna go down one more time. quite I'm not getting up to red line but obviously you could and uh, they're quick but they're not lightning fast they're still fun to use occasionally but I'll bet most people won't but that downshift up and goes no doubt about that I'm gonna put it back into drive got our gear selector which is a little bit unique but it's just so fun to drive and the difference between the drive mode so you've got a comfort mode eco mode a normal mode sport and sport plus and your own customizable mode where you can have like the um, drivetrain in I'll say you know it's like a sport mode and and kind of differentiate differentiate different parts of it now day-to-day -day driving in here i love the interior it is so nice it is well laid out obviously it could be more practical but you're not really going to find a whole lot of that in these types of cars i mean the controls are easy to access and touch but they're still not my favorite i wish we had a different kind of infotainment but otherwise for what it is this car is just it is just so nice i have I just love it. <laughs> I can't uh, can't deny that. And ride comfort wise, this has an adaptive variable suspension, so it will change and adapt. And you know you can move through your modes. If you go to Sport Plus, you're going to get the best of the best with the responsiveness of the transmission and the variable gear ratio steering. We're in comfort mode right now, but it doesn't get super firm and stiff like you might want. 
for a you know a sport mode type of thing but it does give you good feedback that is at least one thing to say and under partial throttle that is when this thing is just it is just so nice it's got such a magical sound to it the exhaust the interior and once the rpms get up a little bit you really get a lot of power that starts to come out the power is just so fun in here now i just put it back in normal mode and it's still peppy and responsive i mean it gives you the power that you need when you need it i'm gonna put it back in just kind of normal sport mode and Sport mode is a good balance of responsive powertrain and ride and sound and handling. It just sounds so good. And it will, like if you get on the brakes pretty decent, it will downshift aggressively depending on how you've been driving. It didn't right there. It's gonna be more aggressive in Sport Plus. That was a lane departure system it's it's amazing that it even has that the radar cruise control full speed and the lane departure system and in sport plus it's holding three and a half rpms and this baby goes obviously not i mean it's not even as fast as the toyota supra which is a blast to drive too but i don't even care that this isn't that fast this is fast enough to have fun but not too fast to kill yourself. The sound of this car is just absolutely intoxicating. I cannot get enough of it. One more run. And those are just partial throttles holding the RPMs. Wow. Now let me talk to you about driving this with the top down and we'll see if you can even hear me. First of all, it's pretty quick and it's just right next to your hand. You don't have to reach up or pull any levers or do anything like that. And you can do it while you're driving as long as you're going under 31 miles per hour. So in a lot of situations, you can get away with doing that. And then it'll beep when it's done. So now you know, and if you are kind of nervous about being hot if on a hot day with the with the top down it's going to be not, it's 90 plus here today the ventilated seats are so powerful that you can actually have those going and feel somewhat cool even when the sun is beating down on you but the top down experience is just wonderful and the screen back here helps this uh the, the glass also helps like so I can wear a hat and it's not gonna blow my hat off if you're taller you might have a problem but it's just a it's still super fun driving this like this and this is my first time ever driving a convertible and you just get the full experience and you get more sounds just sounds amazing and I hope y'all can hear me and hear that but the top down is just wonderful and if you want to bring it back up you can bring it back up as long as you're going under 31 miles an hour if you're curious road noise is not terrible it's not great but it's better than I thought it was and I feel like it's actually better than it was the last time I had the LC 500 so as a grand touring car it's not gonna be super loud vibrate be really harsh with the ride it's just it's got a split personality of serene drivability and muscle and luxury but let's go ahead and wrap things up so to wrap things up on this 2021 lexus lc 500 convertible it's an excellent grand touring car it really has a split personality it can be that comfortable luxury cruiser that has the features that you want but also just a muscle powerhouse because this car even though it doesn't have the numbers that some of you might want or the dynamics or speed that some of you want it just drives so nice and it sounds fantastic i mean that exhaust if you didn't listen to the exhaust in this video you need to go back and listen this also comes in at one hundred and eleven thousand dollars which is more expensive than the non-convertible model and the non-convertible model even gives you more trunk space and it's just a tad bit faster so something to keep in mind but either way 
Lexus has really perfected this LC500 and it's a masterpiece. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this LC500 video. Please be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and have a great day.